Hi, Susan. Thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure, Sam. So this is your second solo exhibition at the Bunbury Regional Art Gallery that draws inspiration from the West Australian landscape. Tell me about your continued interest in this subject. Uh, yes, it is my second show at Bragg, but I have uh, mounted about half a dozen shows over 20 years reflecting the landscape of Western Australia, as well as individual pieces in other shows. So I, it's something I've been working with and thinking about over a long time. And I think it's because it's an amazing place, an ancient place full of contrasts, vast open spaces, extremely tall trees, old, old rocks, an enormous sky that changes in a moment. It is a primary land of primary colors, red earth, okra, black, white, and a glowing blue. It has areas of dark amid blurring light that is almost blinding for a second. Water is present, then it disappears. It is a land that inhabits the people. They are part of the land. It has all the elements that stimulate the eye and mind of a painter. I can see why it's a, a subject that you've continued to look at. And you talk about iconography and subject and that they're quite important to you. So can you um, discuss a little bit the difference between the two and their relation to your work? Well, sub subject is the topic, mm. that which the work is about. It is simple, often precise and concise. Seeking the iconography to define the subject is an exploration. The seeking of understanding, of knowing, of becoming intimately familiar with the subject until it is known. It is seeking clarity so that the marks you make define the subject so that it evokes memory, becomes familiar, and then it is known to the observer. It must be known instantly to the observer if it's iconographic. I do not want my work to uh, tell a story or have a message, but I do want it to connect visually immediately. Paintings are not good at messages or stories. They're not for that. I want the person looking at my paintings to be absorbed visually, to evoke memory in the observer, to enjoy it, but all of it is visual. So for those who may not be aware, you have revisited certain subjects several times throughout your career. Still life, portraiture, interiors and historical subjects and with each you work in a series why is this oh it's it's it sort of evolves that way one painting naturally leads to another and another i work in a series because because of that process because each time another possibility occurs and i need to try it on another canvas i usually work on four to six canvases at a time um, it is rare for me to have a one-off piece. Painting for me is constant observation, analysis, reflection, reassessing, rejecting, reassembling, reconsidering until finally a resolution. I inhabit the subject when I'm working and it inhabits me. I pursue it until I think I'm repeating myself, until it becomes trite, then I stop. You have this um, great line in your artist statement that um, subject matters. And uh, from that answer, I can see why. But I wonder what brought you to that conclusion? I paint what I see, what makes me curious. Subject is the key in, the start of the exploration. It is the connection between the eye and mind of the painter. It is the identification of the visual. The rest is illusion. The reconstructing of the space one sees on a flat surface with marks, lines, colors, texture, that part is an abstraction. The subject assures that the abstraction is grounded, that it has substance and structure. So it becomes a really intellectual process. 
Oh, for me, painting uses all that I have, my eyes, my mind, my hands. It is a total experience testing all of my metal. It is endlessly fascinating. I can think of nothing more arduous, more elusive, more enticing. Mm, wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Susan, for talking with me. Um, I feel like there's so much left in this conversation to, to discuss. Years and years. <laughs> Well, I'd like to encourage listeners to get involved with this uh, conversation and leave a question in the comments below. Susan and I will endeavour to respond to those questions in future videos. Thanks again. Thanks, Sam. <laughs>